Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about notifications and help menus. So, to get started, let's create a new project, a C Sharp project with Windows Form up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically show you how to actually add a tooltip. Uh, on an object. So this object for this example is a button. So I'm going to put a button there and I'm going to put a label. As you can see here, all of these are buttons, like this option and this option, the, all of these are buttons. So every time I hover over, there's a little tooltip there. Indicates, explains to me what the button is all about. So this is what we are actually going to do the f as, a f as the first thing uh, to provide a help for the end user. So I'm going to select the object. I'm going to actually I'm going to find out what name my label has. I'm going to go there on uh, with the label selected. I'm going to locate the name section. I'm just going to change the name to LBL underscore help uh, tip. Uh, the button. I'm just going to call it btn underscore help and for the text for my button I'm just going to change that to help now for my label now I need to change the text to this by click King this button you will be able to see the help menu so I put here a little message now by default this message will be invisible so with this label selected I'm going to locate the visible section and I'm going to change the, vol the value to false so if I press start, as you can see, my uh, label is not showing. I'm going to stop the project. Now, what I want is when the mouse, the end user hovers over with their ma uh, mouse on uh, the button, this label to show. And every time they hover over, uh, away, move away the mouse, uh, this to be uh, this uh, label to disappear again. So with the button selected, I'm going to click on the events. Uh, option which is the lighting icon I'm going to scroll down and locate mouse hover I'm going to double click here and then I'm going to put uh, LBL help tip dot visible equals true semicolon to my statement now, I'll go back to the design view. When I do that, if I hover over, I can see this is visible, but if I hover away, it doesn't go invisible again, so I need to actually program that. So, with the, I stop the project, I'm going back to the help button. I'm going to select the, again the events option, the lighting icon. I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom to, no, exactly to the bottom. Uh, until I found the mouse leave, so on mouse leave I'm going to double click here and what I'm going to do is LBL underscore help dot visible equals false so basically I'm making uh, the tooltip invisible again so let's try that hover over with my mouse so by clicking this button you will be able to see the help menu if I hover away, if I hover in, if I hover away, okay. So this is how you add in a tooltip. Now you can, of course, customize your tooltip by actually customizing your label. So if I go back to the properties, with the label selected, I can actually go to the back color, change my back color to, let's say, let's say yellow 
I'm going to go to the font, change my font to 12. Uh, and there's lots of other options you can actually do. You can make it bold. Etc. Etc. So when I go there now, if I hover over, I can see it. So this is how you generate a tooltip, a little tip for your uh, users. Now, in order for me to actually uh, open uh, the help menu, what I can do, I can actually scroll down and add a panel. make sure the tooltip and the panel are not interfering let's put here the help menu so in the within the panel what I can do I could actually put put a list box so if I click now on the little plus icon play icon I will say edit items I will say to do let's say the first first thing you will need to dot 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 to do the second thing you will need to dot 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 to do the third and so on and so forth now by default I want my panel to be invisible so with the panel selected I'm gonna scroll up and down until I find the visible section on the properties and I'm gonna change the volume to false then I'm gonna double click on my help menu and I'm gonna say panel 1 let's name the panel appropriately use the Lisinski reading name conversion so I'm gonna with the panel selected I'm gonna find the name of my panel I'm gonna call it P and L underscore help so I'm gonna double click now on my help button I will say P and L underscore help dot visible equals true and semicolon to add my statement now what I can do here I can add a box here uh, a button I'm gonna put a button here and I'm gonna change the text to an X I'm gonna reduce the size and for the name I'm just gonna call it BTN exit help BTN underscore exit underscore help and I'm gonna double click here and I will say PNL underscore help dot visible equals false so when the end user clicks on this button then the panel will be invisible and as the button is it within the panel the button will be invisible as well let's try it so as you can see if I hover over with my mouse I can see the little tooltip I'm gonna click on the help I make the panel visible I'm gonna click on the exit I make the panel invisible so this is how you add in tips and help menus onto your project by using C Sharp. Thank you for watching.